So, you know, you need to try to be like a good person in life, uh, go to work on time, raise a good family, and everything that comes in between. Sounds almost too good to be true. Uh, I notice as I get older, uh, yeah, I read more. I've always read, but you know, I read more. Um, mostly history, as you guys know. Uh, starting to venture off in, like, you know, fantasy territory, mostly science fiction. Because sometimes you just need to get away from current events, reality. And, uh, you know, too much history kind of warps my brain a little bit. I start to lose interest. So I need something just to, you know, escape from all that. Actually, uh, a lot of Star Wars novels, believe it or not. Not that many. Um, because of, uh, you know, my situation and all that, I, uh, you know, get, getting tired a lot, uh, between work, family stuff, yada, yada, yada. It's hard to keep my eyes open, especially reading at night. <clears throat> it sucks. So what I do is, uh, audiobooks. They're great, you know, uh, not a lot of people like them, but I don't know, for purpose of uh, just enjoying a story I mean you know stories were you know told by orators people who talked out loud you know and then they were written down so people could remember them so you know either way it's still a story and uh, you could retain it so you know it's cool uh, but never thought we'd get attached like characters which is weird you know I think as I get older my defenses my emotional feelings are like starting to like uh, the brick wall hiding them is starting to like deteriorate so it's like a thing and I'm like you know I have no connection with these characters I mean in the story I have a connection I know what's going on I, I comprehend all that but uh you know I don't know these people are made up but why, what do I care you know but I'm like oh my god you know if some character I like dies suddenly or loses you know in a battle or something you know I have a feeling for that I'm like wow that's you know a good storytelling and B just you know your body uh, going through the motions you know which makes it easier to talk about uh, religion you know I, I consider myself uh, not that uh, deeply religious you know I don't carry a Bible with me I don't go to um, church I guess as much as I should um, you know, I can't you know recite a verse from a Bible, but I do edumate uh, edema. I need more edema. I do educate myself in um, different religions. You know, I understand them. I try to anyway, and uh, you know, um, brighten my uh, horizons. Uh, for lack of better terms. Um, yeah, you know, religion. Theology, it's all kind of uh, fascinated me. So, uh, you know, I study that stuff. Um, but never really kind of, like, give it too much thought. Like I said, I'm not the, uh, on the Olympic team of the Catholics or any other religion for that matter. But I appreciate them, I understand them. You know, Buddhist, Hindu, Islam... All the different sects of Christianity, I'm there. But, uh, you know, I consider myself more spiritual. You know, I like to believe in a higher power and uh, all that stuff. But uh, I could see the allure and the attention, uh, especially the, uh, the views of, a, of an atheist, though. Now... More so than ever. I mean, if you just take a look outside or, you know, watch CNN, you, it's crazy, crazy times. It's hard to believe in anything, actually, when the world's kind of going into chaos. Let me explain. So, for example, if right now I were to wish for superpowers um, or a million dollars, let's be real with each other. It's not going to happen like that. It's just how it goes. Um, maybe less selfish. What if I were to, you know pray really deeply for, um, you know, uh, peace on earth, or for all the homeless to find work and better themselves, 
or even something small like my best friend to you know find you know true love or something like that it's not gonna happen overnight I doubt if I pray really really hard it's gonna happen like that just kind of how it goes how the cookie crumbles um, so yeah I could see that being a deterrent for people just getting into religion be like but what is it doing for me you know um, when you take away something like that the heavy load just a little bit of it anyway it's lifted and you could um, go about your life believing in yourself I guess if that's a thing you know uh, more of a thing uh, without the religion aspect and uh, you know just getting stuff done you know but what if religion was put here as a um, <clears throat> a motivational boost per se uh, to put people in the right direction uh, like I said it's hard to be a pious person in uh, you know times like this so it's like you know what's the point right but back to what I was saying you know what if it was installed to you know not the negative aspect as to control people which we could see that there is a lot of radical elements to religion you can't avoid it just like anything else you know um, but the positive aspects you, you can see that you can see where you know people might turn to religion to help them out you know I've always heard atheists find religion on the battlefield when you're deep down in the trenches facing the enemy and you think you're gonna die you might you know mutter out a, oh god help me you know kind of deal just you know reflux but that's still in your conscious you know uh, yeah, but uh, you know that happens you know and uh, it just makes you you know you think hmm maybe I was using the whole religion thing wrong you know because when it comes down to it all these things you pray for you know sure you know that's good you know you have an outlet but they're not gonna happen overnight you know you have to get them yourself like I said you know it's a good chance me you could all been using religion the wrong way you know I, like I said I'm not that deep into it but I study it and I know about it uh, I know all the, the main players and all the Bibles and uh, you know other uh, you know, biblical uh, artifacts and whatnot so yeah what if that's a thing either way it should be used as inspiration uh, live a better lifestyle and uh, you know to better yourself I think you know uh, because you know in the end you know whether you believe or not uh, I don't believe no one's perfect so even if you are a you know some you know high on your horse atheist yeah that's great but also means when you die nothing happens I mean despite what you believe the fantasy or the actuality maybe that your soul does ascend to something greater you know we don't really know the human condition that much or what came before us in a spiritual sense you know science you know has answers for a lot but for some miracles like statues bleeding or you know people on their way out surviving you know act of God divine intervention or just pure old luck sometimes luck kind of steps into the last minute life is a gamble but I like the chances of uh, you know believing just a little bit better because as the saying or quote goes believe in something or you'll fall for anything I think that's a good um, you know uh, state of mind to you know wrap your head around to kind of get you through life because sure you could you know prop yourself up as you know as much as you want but if you fail it hurts that much harder and while that gives you incentive 
It could also mean extreme, you know, loneliness. You know, maybe people are sociopaths. I don't know. They don't. They don't need things like that. You know, religion or something to believe in. But in the end, it, it does creep back. I like to think about uh, my ancestors, your ancestors, our ancestors. You know, mostly, you know, if you're European or Asian or whatever, they worshipped. You know, p pagans essentially. You know, with a bit of you know Apollo, Jupiter. You know, they all had temples. They all had altars. That they burnt incense or sacrificed small animals, whatever, it, whatever it be. But they had images of the gods, you know, or God, that they worshipped. And that's interesting, you know. And it wasn't just you know the act of you know uh, doing stuff to appease the gods but they always looked up you know and uh, no matter what civilization came before or after always always looked up most of the time I never saw any pictures of people looking down when they prayed um, so yeah that's interesting that even back then, the belief was whatever god or deity they worshipped came from up above. You know, they would look up, you know, and pray, essentially. After they would form the rituals or whatever. Um, so yeah, you know, when they would do that, that, you know, Greek or Roman or Phoenician, whoever, when they would, you know, worship and they would look up, you have to wonder, you know, were they just, you know, pondering in deep thought, staring up at the sky, or were they thinking, somewhere up there, you know, the God I worship is looking down at me, and at some point in time, it's going to answer my prayers, or give me the courage to do, you know, what I want to happen. And uh, make me do it instead of waiting around. You know, makes you think. So in the end, you know, I'm gonna kind of conclude with this. You know, uh, whether it's you know you or that you know lonely uh, pagan or churchgoer that you know stares up at the sky in deep thought or you know uh, hoping that whatever uh, entity God or ancient alien maybe who knows is looking down at them too and one day those prayers might be answered or like I said give you that boost to uh, you know go ahead and find the uh, strength, the inner strength to accomplish whatever it is you want or uh, make things better. But it makes you think though, you know? As for me, I have faith in things. Uh, I have hope and I'm always going to be looking up in my time of need. Yeah, that's all I got. <laughs>